Hello, people on the internet. It's been a while, I know, but in today's video, I will be showing you how you can use the new bulk purchase API that Roblox has released for the marketplace service. Now, what is a bulk purchase API? Well, as you can see from the GIF down below, you can purchase items in bulk instead of having to purchase one at a time and waiting for it to finish with its prompt and stuff like that. It makes life so much simpler. I'm going to show you how you can do that with various different options such as a UI and a click detector inside of Roblox Studio. Now you can see that more details on it is that you can purchase multiple items with the asset or bundle. For limiteds, it will prompt you the original copy if there are any. If there aren't, then it will prompt you a resale item resale copy instead. You can prompt 20 items or have 20 items in one bulk purchase and you can only run prompt bulk purchase in service scripts. Alright, now that we're inside of Roblox Studio, you should be inside of Roblox Studio as well. Now you can enter inside of an experience you've already made or you can create a new experience. For this tutorial, I'm just going to create a new experience to show you. All right, now that I've created an experience, I'm going to show you how you can use prompt bulk purchase. Now, as you heard earlier, it can only be run on server scripts, which would require a remote event to communicate from the client to the server. Remote events should be stored inside of replicated storage unless it's inside of a tool. So we're going to head over to replicated storage in the Explorer tab, and we're going to add a folder. This is for organization purposes, which is very good and a good practice, which you should do. I'm going to name this remote events. And I'm going to add the remote event. And I'm going to name this prompt bulk purchase. You can name it whatever you like. And the first one is I'm going to add a click detector. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, guys, so I have created the part which I put in workspace and you can see in the tutorial there is a part and inside the part you can see there's a click detector inside it and this is just some fancy stuff. So how we're going to do it is we're going to head over to start a player, start a player scripts and then we're going to add a local script. We're going to name this local script purchase in bulk. You can name it whatever you like. And for whatever reason, uh, it has to be run by the client. So in Roblox's example and in other things as well, you would use it in a local script in starter player scripts or a UI, which I'll show you in a bit. So what we're going to do is we are going to get replicated storage. And then we are going to get the prompt bulk purchase event. So prompt bulk purchase event. We're going to go into our folder and we're going to get the event right here. Next is we're going to grab the click detector inside the part. So we're going to do click detector equals to workspace. We're going to wait for child for tutorial and we're going to wait for child for the part and we're going to get the click detector. Now I might be wondering why am I using wait for child for the tutorial folder and the part? Because streaming is enabled by default now. With streaming you have to wait for the contents to load and I've tried this without having to wait but it gives me an error because it hasn't load in time even though it's right in front of the spawn location. So if there's an error without wait for child then try using wait for child. Try not to use it excessively because of course you don't want a long chain of it, but because it's streaming enabled, you would have to use wait for child for to load for the client. Once that's done, we're going to get click detector. We're going to use mouse click. We're going to connect that to a function. And then we're going to get the prompt bulk purchase event and we're going to fire that to the server. And with this, we're going to have a table with the contents. Little mess up there. And then 
we're going to add another table and this is the information that you'll send to the server to have the bulk purchase so we're gonna have the type of avatar uh, accessory which is going to be enum dot marketplace product type and it's going to be either an avatar asset or an avatar bundle so we're going to use avatar asset that's going to be the typical accessories clothing whatever and after that we're going to have an id which is going to be a string of numbers so with this i have gathered three items the first one is going to be the face a roblox face this is going to be a roblox face and the second one is going to be second one is going to be the hair that is shown over here second one's going to be this hair right here and the last one is going to be a UGC head which is a bundle so with that we're going to specify the type to be enum dot marketplace product type avatar bundle with the ID of that number now once that's done we're going to head over well let's just debug it real quick so we're going to do print and we're going to say that it's clicked just so we know that the button is clicked so let's just play real quick and see if it works and you can see that when I click it says that it's clicked so now let's get receive the response inside of the service script so to do that we're going to head over to service script service to add a script let's just name this purchase handler purchase handler and then we're going to get the marketplace service and we're going to get replicated storage and then we're going to get the prompt bulk purchase event now we're going to use the on server event to listen to calls from the client of that remote event so we're going to do prompt book purchase event on server event we're going to connect that to a function and we're going to add the um, other arguments so it's going to be the first one's going to be a player and the second one's going to be an item list which is going to be a table with anything inside it and just to check if it's a table even though we've already type checked it in the uh, the function here a double check isn't gonna hurt anybody so let's do if type of item list is not equal to a table meaning it's not a table then we're just gonna return and do nothing all right now we're gonna do marketplace service prompt bulk purchase we're going to add the player argument and we're going to add the items list and you can see the last one is an option is an options one which currently has nothing in it so we're just going to leave that blank and now we're already done with our prompt bulk purchase so let's go back here we've connected the click detector with the local script that's inside of starter player scripts we're going to send this uh, array to the server of the type of the accessory the marketplace product type and the id of them one of them is going to be a ugc head which is a bundle and the rest is going to be the face and ugc hair and we are in the service script we're checking if it's a table and then we're going to just prompt the purchase on the server so let's play real quick you can see when it click it will show all the three items that I've mentioned it'll say the order total it'll say your balance your balance after purchase and to pay right here and you can see here if I press F9 for the developer console it's clicked so let's press play pay sorry and you can see that the purchase is completed now of course this is not foolproof so people can buy it again which is not something you want which means 
you have to add the player owns asset or player owns bundle checks every time uh, somebody prompts the purchase because it's not trusted by the client or something like that right so after this let's let's print out what we've purchased in a dictionary so we're going to go to start start a player scripts and we're going to add purchase finished we're going to name it purchase finished sorry if this is a little bit confusing i'm trying my best here um, we're going to add the marketplace service game and then we're going to listen to the event of prompt bulk purchase finished we're going to connect that to a function which is going to have the player instance it's going to have the status and it's going to have the results table now prompt bulk purchase finished is going to run only in a local script typically you would see something like marketplace dot prompt game pass purchase finished and prompt purchase finish prompt bundle purchase finish all of that you could run that on the server script but for bulk purchase it only runs in a local script so now all we have to do is check for the status if it's completed so we're going to do if status equals enum dot marketplace bulk purchase prompt status is completed then we're going to print oops sorry we're going to print that the bulk purchase is a success and with that let's also print the robux spent which you can get in the results table so it's results dot robux spent and let's print out the item the, the items that we've purchased, which will give us the item ID, the type of the item, if it's an asset or if it's a bundle, and if it's successfully purchased or not. So we're gonna do print, um, and let's just say items for here, and it's going to be in a, it's going to be in a dictionary, which has two tables so it's gonna look like it's gonna look like this it's gonna look something like this so with that we're going to use a for loop so we're going to do for underscore item yep item list in pairs results dot items do and then we're going to do another for loop to get the items inside. This would be item info in pairs item list do. And then we're just going to print the item info. And for safety measures, let's just print outside that and do a lot of dots. Not safety measures, but to distinguish each item. So to go over this, Actually, let's also do this right here. If the status fails, or it's an error, then we're going to warn and say that bulk purchase has errored, or something like that. And you might be wondering, what's the aborted? The aborted means if the player presses cancel or they click out of it. So complete means that it's completed the purchase. Error means that there's an error with the backend systems or there's an error with the purchase and abort basically means that they've canceled it or they've clicked out of it. So to go back on this, if the status of the prompt book, if the status of the bulk purchase is completed, then we're going to print out that it's completed. We're gonna print out the Robux spent and then we're going to print out each item of the list which would be the type of item the ID of the item and the status if it's successful or not so let's go back and press play and we can see once I click on buy it will show all of this and it shows that it's clicked I bought for it 
and you can see in the developer console, it says that bulk purchase complete. I've spent 195 Robux. Here are the items with the ID, the type, product type, and the purchase status. All right, guys, so I've created a screen GUI and I've added two frames as you can see here. The first one is going to be a text button and the second one is going to be an image button. They both have the same script from purchase in bulk and starter player scripts. I've just changed the name and I've changed it to say purchase button and the location of it to be, or the path of it to be the button. And I've switched around some of the IDs for different assets. And I've also used the activated event as that's better in my opinion than mouse one, mouse button one. Same thing with image, I just changed it to image and I said it pressed image so it's more distinguishable, distinguishable and also changed the IDs. So when we press play, you can see that the first one that we click with the click detector and start a player script still works, it's clicked. And when I press buy, it's already bought and it shows that it's successful, 195 Robux. You can see over here, I press buy with the uh, text button can see that it also works and you can see that there's different items over here it's 345 robux i click on purchase and you can see down here that i've spent 345 robux and it's all success as well and the last one's going to be the image button i'm going to click that and you can see it's also going to be 235 robux and it shows all the different items i click on buy and it prints out in the console so i hope this video is um, educational or that you understand how to use uh, prompt bulk purchase. Um, sorry if it's a little bit confusing. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the developer form post and the uh, creator documentation to learn more. Um, if you guys want, I can also upload this uh, onto Roblox and leave it on Copyblock so you can kind of check the code out yourself. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video and that you learned something. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.